In this video, we're going to try and find the limit of this sequence of this sequence as x tends to infinity, where x where x is between negative one and positive one. So, uh, so for example, you could say uh, let x equals 0.7. So, so you would put this into here. So, uh, so you, this here would be one sequence. Um, but then, in another case, in another case, you could say x let x be let's say 0.4. So you would put this into here, and then this would be your 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 other sequence, 0.4 to the power of n. So so x varies, but once once you've selected your x, after you've selected your x, then x stays fixed. X is really considered as a constant. Uh, once x can still vary, you, you could select x in such a way that it's between negative one, between between negative one and positive one. But once you've selected your x, then your x stays fixed. And then it's, it's the end that's moving about. It is the end that's moving about. Well, to find the limit of this, um, well, to find the limit of this, consider this. If I were to give you this, hang on. Let's say zero, zero, uh, one. Let's, if, if I were to give you this, let's say seven, eighty-seven. If, if there's a, if there's a, um, a, uh, a, a thirty percent increase, you would do this. You would get this times this, and then that would then give you whatever that answer is. But the point is that it gets bigger. But then, if if I were to give you, let's say, um, let's say, let's say, if I were to give you, let's say, there's a thirty percent decrease, then then you would times 0 0.7, and then you would get this times this, and then it would give you whatever here. The point is that well, the the whatever here will get smaller. It would decrease. So in the case of in the case of you selecting an x where it's less than, well, where the absolute value of x is less than one, it, let, let's say let x equals, let's say 0 0.7. So in this case here, it, it would be this 0 0.7 to the power of n. Now, as n tends to infinity, let's let's just say, let's just look at the first three terms. So when when you have this, it's really the same as this times this. Hang on, it's really this. So it's, it's really like me giving you this. Uh, 0, 0, your whole amount, your starting amount is this, 0 0.7, and then, and then there, when, when, when there's a 30% de decrease, you, you would do this. So you would get this times this, and then it would get smaller. It would, it would be 0 point, so, so this thing here would be, hang on, this thing here would be 0 0.7 times 0 0.7, whatever that may be. Uh, and then, and then, and then, let, let's move across here. This, this will be your new, your new 100% here, so this here will be 0 0.7 times 0 0.7, and then if there's another 30% decrease, then you would times 0 0.7 here. So you would get this whole amount times this thing, and then it will then give you this new amount here. The point here is that the new amount here will be smaller. So as as you go on, as you go on, if you keep on multiplying by something that's uh, that's between negative one and one, then it's just going to head towards zero. It, it is. It it is heading towards zero because you you start out with with your whole amount and then you you times by 0 0.7 say so this is your new amount times another 0 0.7 there's a there's a 30 percent decrease here and then you whatever here and then and then this then becomes your new 100 percent here and then when there when there's um when there's another 30 percent decrease it would just it's, you can see that it's getting smaller and smaller um it would just get smaller and smaller. And then eventually you're you're going to head towards zero. You, this limit here, the, the the limit of this sequence as n tends to infinity will be zero. Um it will be zero. Okay? Um yeah.